When people think of Chicago, one thing that may not come to mind right away is nature. And while we can't claim the grandeur of the Rocky Mountains, there is far more natural beauty in the Chicago area than many people know. This next story is about a man who has made it his mission to let you know not only where to explore the wilds of Chicago, but especially when. Here's Jay Shevsky. Taking pictures takes its toll on me because I have to get up sometimes as early as 2.40, 2.50 in the morning. When you're a nature photographer, timing is critical. Like many photographers, Mike McDonald usually goes out early because of the beautiful light. It's not just the light, because you have that similar light in the evenings, but you have that atmosphere. The fog, the dew, the birds calling at that time of day. Mike McDonald's specialty and his passion is Chicago area nature, especially wildflowers like these Virginia bluebells. And that adds another critical element of timing. Once upon a time, I went to a preserve and I saw these flowers fading. And I said, oh man, I gotta wait another year. And then I came back two or three weeks later and there was another flower fading. And I said, okay, forget it. This is never happening again. So Mike now keeps careful track of when and where wildflowers are blooming best around Chicago. I'm talking like photogenic, blow your mind, beautiful that the public would love. And he shares that information with the public through his website, Chicago Nature Now. The now in Chicago Nature Now refers to going to Chicago Nature at this moment to get a wildflower blooming event that's absolutely world class and breathtaking. A lot of people know where to see stuff, but it's like when? The week I met Mike, it was the Virginia Bluebells at O'Hara Woods in Romeoville. And yes, it was breathtaking. Now, you know, I've seen bluebells before, but I've never seen bluebells like this. See, this is not just about making beautiful photos. Mike McDonald is a kind of Chicago nature evangelist. Chicago has more protected natural area within 50 miles of downtown than most national parks and more native plant species than any national park by far. Wait, more native plant species in the Chicago area than in any national park? Any national park. So for example, we have I think 1,706 or so, uh -huh. and the Grand Canyon has like 1,544, 45. Mike has also photographed many spectacular national park landscapes. And he says Chicago's flat terrain needs a different treatment. We are not geological based where we have rocks and mountains and icons. Ours is botanically based, where the landscape changes every single week. And so I needed to figure out a way how to make images that were as three-dimensional as those calendar shots of the West, to make those shots of Chicago that immersive and deep. The solution was to include a wide view of the landscape and a close look at what's nearby. You're kind of shooting both landscapes and close-ups at the same time, right? Yeah, as, as you can see, I'm at a distance that most macro photographers shoot just to fill the frame with one of these flowers. Uh -huh. But I'm also using a super wide-angle lens. So what I'm getting is two perspectives of the world. The two perspectives I think that we experience in a landscape like this. They're looking everywhere and seeing it all. And then they're also suddenly focusing at their feet or their ankles. And they see the flowers and that fills their world. Huh. So it emulates the experience of being here, which is the whole goal of my photography is to make you uh, feel like you're with me. And the goal of that is to get people out here. And the goal of that is to get people out here and to fall in love with it. Huh. Because once you're here, how can you not? Huh. I already love being out in nature. But being here when the flowers are exploding? Amazing. For Chicago Tonight, this is Jay Shevsky.
Want to stay on top of the area's best blooming flowers? Go to Mike McDonald's website, chicagonaturenow.com, and subscribe for free. And Mike's got a book including many, many photos called My Journey into the Wilds of Chicago, a celebration of Chicagoland's startling natural wonders. By the way, he doesn't keep track of the whole region himself. He has a small army of volunteer scouts. You can find out more about volunteering and all the rest of it on our website.